This one's for the pinball fans. Retro Minis has a Pinball FX3 standalone build where you can play over 40 or 50 different pinball tables using Pinball FX3. It's a really tiny download, so there's a little mini thing if you just want to kind of tinker with pinball. It's pretty cool. It has a horizontal mode or a vertical mode. Right now I'm using my full screen that you're watching, but if you want to turn your screen 90 degrees and have like a virtual pinball machine kind of a, a, a foe, you know, or or simulated, you can do that as well. So here's there is the build. You have a, a full screen showing you all the builds, and then you can actually go into Pinball FX3, and you can see all the boards here. And so you can see everything from Jurassic Park, Star Wars, Marvel, some old school like 80s boards as well, like Adventure Time here, and um, Aliens, Bob's Burger, Doom. Portal from Valve and more. And so this is Pinball FX3. I am using an Xbox One, uh, uh, Xbox 360 style controller, and I use my uh, back buttons, my triggers on the back, the uh, R, R and L1 and 2, or L1, R1, and um, they use the paddles. Uh, you could tilt the screen, you could, there's like special buttons in some of these games, and then it does use your vibration motors as well. And so while that's not a very pinball way to play these games, you know, it'd be cool if you had an arcade stick with some buttons on there or like a, a, a faux arcade box with some buttons. But, you know, that's where that's what we have. And so some people really like that. Some people don't. But um, so here's what the build looks like. This is retro minis. And so you can access all the games this way where you can have a video preview. You have the logos and you have this kind of faux pinball look. Again, remember, you can stack this as well. I'll show you that later in the video, where if you want um, the preview on the bottom, you want a more vertical experience, you could tilt your monitor 90 degrees and use it like a virtual pinball machine. Once you click into a game, like I just did there, it will load Pinball FX3. And then you have full access to all the boards and everything else. Um, you can see it wanted to continue my last game. And uh, so I'm going back, back, back. And then you go to my collection here. So this is everything that will be included on this build. Later in the video, I'll show you the file system and how that all works. But it's very simple. You just download this, you extract it, and then you, you're gaming. Um, there's one little small thing you have to do with transferring over the Steam folder, but it tells you how to do that in the readme. Right now, I'm just showing you all the boards. I didn't count every single one, but like here in Marvel, look, there's already 20 boards or so there. Um, so it's probably close to 40 or 50 boards. Massive Star Wars collection, massive Marvel collection, and then um, you got Doom, Fallout, uh, Walking Dead. And uh, each board's kind of unique. Um, you know, some people don't like Pinball FX3 because it's a little too, it's too much, right? Too many vibrations and sounds and music and it's kind of hokey. They like more, you know, the classic pinball people will like more of, you know, like a wood pinball machine and there's the naturalness of that as well as, you know, the more simple, you know, bumpers and things like that within the machine. But, um, you know, like this one here. Here we go. We got Jaws, right? It's a very open board, not a lot going on in the middle. But um, what you need to do is at the top of your screen there, you have to hit that metal box until you can break out the shark. And the shark's swimming back there. You see it there. You can see the, the, the fin show up. Um, and then you have, like, the... the, the uh, I want to call him a pirate, but the fisherman out there who's uh, kind of your buddy over there helping out. Um, loading up Jurassic Park. This is an interesting one because when you get your ball stuck by the Stegosaurus's tail, you have to shoot the Stegosaurus. Once the ball gets stuck, the Stegosaurus uses his tail to try to kill a Velociraptor. You also notice in the back section there, those Velociraptor noises, just like you heard in the movie. So I think the sound effects are pretty cool myself, um, especially for like Aliens and Jurassic Park, very iconic sounds. But, um, you know, just using Xbox 360 controller as your flippers. Um, sometimes if you do something like that, you get a, a free ball. Other times you don't. But um, you'll see here in a second, there you go, I got it stuck. And you'll notice in the windows here, the Velociraptors moving around. Okay, um, it just highlights those windows and then you have to um, hit the Velociraptor. You have to hit the Velociraptor to try to kill them all to get the max score. 
Speaking of score, you might notice that there's a little upper left-hand corner there. There's a little scoreboard. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's, like, achievements that show up every once in a while. So there's a lot going on here, especially if you're into, like, retro achievements and just getting high scores and things like that. This stuff could be a ton of fun. So for the next part of the video, until we get into the analytics, just we'll watch a little bit of gameplay, and then we'll check out the, you know, um, how do you get this set up, and what exactly is it? All right, so where do you find the build? It is on backups.me, as well as where coin ops builds are, and et cetera, some cool wolf in those builds. I'll put a link in the description on how to do that and get on there, but you just click on the retro minis, and then it's on the page two, and then you'll find that it's called Pinball Arcade, is the name of the build, only 12 gigabytes, and here's a little thing where you got the verticals on the left and the right, and the horizontal in the middle, and it's actually 100 tables, and you can use keyboard, mouse, or Xbox. Okay, so here's the file system. You don't need these .7 zip files. I mean, that's what you're going to download initially, and then you right-click. I just want to show you, you know, they're about 11 gigabytes, and then when you extract the whole things, it's closer to 16 gigabytes. Um, here's the README file in case you want to know what exactly you have to do. Those are, that's the only thing you need to do is go in here, displays, grab the Steam folder, and then head on over to your hard drive, your main hard drive, go to documents or public and then documents. And then there should be a steam folder in there. Or if it's not already, go ahead and copy and paste it there like I did. And then that's all you really need to do. Okay. Um, make sure you, you do the right one. Are you going to be playing this horizontally or vertically, right? That's where you need to make sure you, you go horizontally would be a normal t uh, screen. Vertically would be, uh, you want to rotate your screen 90 degrees and run it like a virtual pinball machine. Here, I'm just showing you the different settings you have within Pinball FX3. There's quite a bit. You could turn off license music. You could change resolution, full screen mode, windowed mode, a lot of audio things and like that. Um, so here it would, here's what it would look like in vertical mode. You see if you actually um, tilted your screen. So not bad, right? But uh, back to the gameplay here. No matter whether you do it vertically or horizontally, you know, it's a cool little build. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I actually have another build coming up I'm excited to do. I don't want to ruin that video, but I came across this when I was doing that video, and I was like, you know, I know a lot of you watching these videos like little pinball builds. I was hoping this build had pinball or future pinball on it or virtual pinball. I think that would be really cool and kind of separate it out a little bit. Pinball FX3, I know, has been around for a while. A lot of people have access to it, so... Um, I like that you can do the vertical and horizontal thing is pretty cool. One, two, I like that it's a standalone build. And then three, I like that it's so small. So if anybody just is like scratching an itch or something or just wants to play, you can put this on like a thumb drive, bring it to a friend's house, or you just want to play a few of these games, you know, there you go. You don't have to download a whole entire build and just play these games, right? You can kind of do a la carte here and just say, oh, I want a little standalone small FX3 build. And then there you go. Um, these already exist, like there's already a coin ops build similar to this and, and others, but um, this was a fairly new release this year, um, and so I just wanted to check it out real quick, and especially if you're a Retro Minis fan, which they have some cool builds, I've done their, their builds before, you can add on to this or, um, you know, have it as a standalone, give it a shot. So that's what I think, let me know what y'all think, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.